Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I am here to bring you a quick little unboxing. If you know me, you know I am a sucker for a mystery. I love like mystery deals, like grab bags. There's just something about the unknown and knowing that you're gonna be getting a good deal, it just sucks me in. Like even when I would say at least half the time I get bamboozled a little bit, I'm sort of like, well, okay, the few things that are in here that I maybe would have bought myself, I probably should have just bought myself and called it a day. But every single time I always get sucked in. I get sucked in by the Beautylish Lucky Bags. I get sucked in, I bought a, like a Trend Mood like box around the holidays. Um, I've done like some different like brand grab bags. It, it's just a thing. So when I saw Liz from Chicago Law Luxury Makeup do this like Poshmark unboxing, I was highly intrigued. And she has done not one, but two unboxing videos now and I was like, Ooh, I just want to give it a go. And the thing is, is these sell like hotcakes. Like I would say within a half an hour, they are usually sold out, certainly within the hour. And Liz has said that. And every single time I, I just have never snagged one. So I finally snagged one. So we are going to be opening that today. And I'm excited. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on future videos. If you want to see what I got in my mystery bag, know all the deets, the price, everything, we're gonna get into that right now. All right, so before we crack into this, I just wanna give you guys a few of the details on this. So the seller on Poshmark, her name is Amy, and she does restocks of these mystery boxes on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I believe it's every Wednesday and Saturday, but I could be wrong on that. It could be every other. But I'm going to link her account on Poshmark so that you guys can check it out, so that you can like set a reminder if you guys end up being interested in trying one of these out. And she does have a wide variety of values. She has high-end makeup, big boxes. She's done like some different like sample high-end makeup things if you're just looking for like a bunch of different fun travel sizes so it's a fun way to like get a few things like almost like buying a present for yourself that you don't know what you're getting you know what I'm saying like I think I think that's why I like this it's sort of like I'm gifting myself but I don't know what I'm gifting myself if that makes any sense so I'm excited to drive dive in now I did get the $125 box that is valued at at least $250 and I will make sure when we're all done I'll tally this up and let you know the value of my box so I'm gonna open this up so right off the bat this is so very cute this would be a great gift like already if you wanted something easy to give to somebody for a gift like something kind of fun you could double the value of what you're going to spend and this would be really cute. So right off the bat, there is a little handwritten card and there's all these like cute little like doodads in here. I'm gonna have to save these for a gift in the future. So it's a handwritten note with my name and it says you are capable of amazing things. So let's crack right into this. It's just these little touches that like I said, you feel like you're giving yourself a little gift. Oh, lashes, yeah. So this says, thank you so much for your purchase, Kelly. Your $125 mystery box is valued at approximately $272. Oh, okay, so here we go. Like she already did the math for me. The Sonia Kashuk brushes, uh, retail price of 35 are all free gifts. So that's really sweet. So evidently I have some free brushes in here that aren't part of the tally of what I've spent or the part of the tally of the value of this box. So that is great. Um, so since we're looking at $272, what I will do is at the end of this video, I will like go through and calculate what I found for the value of what's inside and I will like leave it somewhere for you guys to see. So this is really cute. There's this little delight and possibility wish and then you like pop this open. It's like a pull tab and it says, the universe is full of magical things by Eden Philpops. So this is cute and you guys can see these little like lipstick and nail polish emblems. So lots of cute little touches in here. So let's go ahead and, oh gosh, there's even a price list in here. How nice is that? Oh my gosh. Cause you know, you cannot tell me if any of you have gotten a lucky bag from Beautylish after you open it up and you like get through the excitement of touching all your stuff, you know, you go through and you tally up to see like how well you did, like what value you really got. So there is a typed out price list in here. Oh, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to go through that because it's going to spoil the surprise. Duh. Okay. So I'm just going to like push this over to the side so that we can kind of crack right in. Oh, this is cute. Like this is like, it's almost like packaged up like a little bouquet of brushes. Wow. This is fun. Okay. So let's open this up here. If nothing else, this is just a fun way to spend a Tuesday night. Okay. 
So I have used some Sonia Kashuk brushes. I have a blush brush because it was one that Tati had recommended a million moons ago, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, so it looks like we have a nice like eyeshadow brush here, like a tapered crease brush. This one is a large eyeshadow brush. Uh, that's like really large. I, but I might actually like that for concealer and I'm always looking for a good concealer brush. And then we also have this uh, large buffing brush. So I don't tend to use flat tops. So what I will probably do is throw this into a giveaway, but again, like Sonia Kashuk brushes are very nice quality. And these actually, like they feel like they have definitely a more professional length and like weighted handle. So I'm very excited to try these out. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything in this video, like a review on it in the future. I'm not gonna be doing a try on tonight. Obviously I'm already fully made up. By the way, if you do wanna see the video where I do this like full face, uh, I will go ahead and post it up here for you guys to be able to see. I had a lot of fun with Denisa Myricks. This is so cool. Like pretty much everything in here is wrapped like almost individually. So it's like, it's like getting a little like fun present for yourself. Okay, all of this, like it is so, it is so nice, but it's like such a pain when you get all that crinkly stuff. Okay, I've just like moved the box over to the side so that I'll have more room to be able to work with what we've got here. Seriously, everything has like cute little beauty decals and stickers, like so cute. Okay, so, ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. I almost, I almost bought one of these in the Sephora sale, so I'm glad that I didn't. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. This is the shade Fenty Glow, which is going to be wonderful. Like, mm, I could actually have thrown this on with like this look maybe. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm tempted. I kind of want to like put this on here, but we're not going to, we're not going to. <laughs> I'm very excited about this one. I've wanted to try this. Um, I really like the original Fenty Gloss Balm, and I think that uh, the cream is gonna be nice as well. So then we have another, what I'm assuming is gonna be a lippy. Ooh, okay, I'm really excited. This is uh, Yves Saint Laurent, and this is the Rouge Velopte Shine Oil in Stick. This is exciting. This is pretty bougie. Ooh, I like this. Oh, you guys, I have like Danessa Myrick swatches all over this hand, so let's go ahead and put it on this side. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, that's like a beautiful color. Mm, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Very excited. Okay, this is so pretty. I'm, I'm, I wonder how many times I'm gonna say I'm excited. I just, I just love opening up surprises. What can I say? It's fun. See, like everything is like individually wrapped. This tape is so cute, loving it. And there's something about like, but knowing that you're getting double the value of your money, like to find a 50% off sale can be kind of tricky. So I, you know, you guys know, if you've watched my channel, you'll know I'm a sucker for a good deal and I like a good sale. So this is just a fun way. Like if you think you're getting things for 50% off, that's really cool. Like, yes, it's a blind buy, but 50% off is pretty awesome. Now, I will say that everything in here has been so nicely packaged. Like I will definitely have bubble tape to be reusing for a while, uh, which is good because I actually have something I need to send out tomorrow. So this is very nice. A lot of care goes into packaging these. Ooh, okay. Here we have the NARS Summer Solstice Palette. So I remember seeing some pictures of this on Instagram. And first of all, the outer packaging just kills me. NARS has beautiful outer packaging. I do feel like the color story on the inside, I do have quite a bit of, so I will more than likely end up putting this in a giveaway. Um, I am not at all upset about getting this. It's just like a warm shimmery eyeshadow palette. Like I have a lot of, and while I think that the outer packaging on the NARS products is super sexy, it's not like I'm gonna be like walking around like with this like as my clutch. So I will probably let someone else enjoy the beautiful packaging and put this in a giveaway in the future. While I was digging the rest of the packages out, I found these collagen hydrogel under eye patches. Those will be nice to try to like, you know, make that under eye situation a little bit happier. We have another NARS product here. Let me crack into this one. Oh, okay, so she had told me, um, she did message me on Poshmark once I did my purchase. Now this, because it's a mystery box, you can't like request anything necessarily, uh, but she did ask me for products like foundation matches or concealer matches because she had said she had just gotten some foundations and concealers and wanted to know what would closely match me. So that's kind of risky. Like 
that's a that's a pretty big risk, but I was willing to try it. So this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I don't know anything about this foundation in all honesty. Uh, I'm gonna open this up just to see like, I kind of want to like, is this newer? Is this like a thing? Do you guys know? Like, I don't know anything about this. Okay, so, mm, I, so this is in the shade Light 5 Fiji. I mean, it looks, it looks like it might work. Like maybe in this, maybe it's gonna be a little bit dark. I don't know, I'm excited to try this. This will definitely be coming up in a video in the future. So if you have tried this, let me know. Like, I don't know anything about this, but very <laughs> excited. Oh, okay, let's read what this says. So meet NARS's first longwear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. Featuring NARS skin optimizing complex, raspberry apple and watermelon extracts, for smoother, healthier looking skin. So coming in in the future, let me know if you guys have tried this. Oh, I will say, and I, I did tell her that uh, I was like, hey, I realize that like we can't make requests, but uh, I would just prefer that I don't get anything matte. Now that doesn't mean that she didn't send me anything matte, but it's like all the glow, all the time. I'm not afraid of color. Like I just try to like, give her a little sense of me. I mean, it's gotta be hard to send out like mystery boxes, right? So I just was like, the glowier, the better. I don't want matte lipsticks. Uh, I don't love matte skin. I mean, as I'm sitting here like glowy AF. So that totally makes sense. So this is supposed to be a radiant foundation. So fingers crossed, we will see. All right, here we have a couple products. Oh, look, I mean, like seriously, the detail in this, this would be the perfect way to give someone a gift. I mean, like you don't even have to package stuff up. Like how cool is that? Okay, so this is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. If you guys know, this was definitely one of my top mascaras. I really do like this. This is a tubing mascara. Now, I've talked about this before. Let's just say until like Hourglass gets their you know what together, I won't be purchasing from Hourglass, but I do really like that mascara. And then we have the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. I tried a Bare Minerals Concealer a while ago. Um, I am trying to think, and I, Bare Minerals was one of the products that I had given her as like a shade match for me. So, because you guys know, like I love the tinted moisturizer. I was like not at home when I messaged her back and I was kind of like, okay, uh, I know my Bare Mineral shades in the tinted gel moisturizer, the Complexion Rescue, and then I think maybe I said the Sephora one. Um, you know, you guys know the clean glowing skin one that I like. So this, Oh, I have a feeling this will maybe work as like a spot concealer. This is light medium 2.5. Uh, this is, ugh, it's a little bit dark. So that might not work, but it might work as a spot concealer um, or it might work to like mix in with uh, ones that I have that are like too, too light for me. So we will see, I will probably um, like put some on a palette and try it out that way. And then if it doesn't work for me, I will pass it along to a friend that's a little bit deeper than me. So no problems there. I always like trying a new concealer. If you guys know me, you know that. Oh, okay, a brand that I have not tried. This is an eyeshadow palette from Lawless. This is the baby, uh, the one baby. So the small Lawless palette. I'm gonna try to get this open. This Now, because I've never tried Lawless shadows and I hear great things, I am really interested in trying this out. This is a pretty little like dusty rose situation. Um, it would be a good companion palette for what I have on my eyes right now. So this I'm very excited to try out. Um, again, just to know the Lawless formula. So that will be a fun one. Again, coming up, maybe I'll have to do like trying on all of the things in this uh, surprise box. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing or if you just want me to like work these into like future videos. So we have one more little mini package here. Okay, okay, this is so funny. So uh, just recently I was watching, I think it was K Bella Beauty and she was talking about using a product and it was a blush and she was talking about the Cover FX monochromatic blush. If it wasn't K Bella, I'm so sorry, I can't remember who it was. I was actually driving and like listening and uh, I was like, oh, those monochromatic blushes. I'm like, I never did get one of those. I should do a video about like products that I always wanted but never grabbed. Well, here we go. This is the monochromatic blush duo, a matte and shimmer. So which shades do we have here? Uh, this is in Pink Dahlia. So let's crack into this. 
You guys know I love a good blush moment. This is so funny. Okay, so we'll pop her open here. Oh, this is pretty. So definitely like a warm pink. So pretty. I'm gonna be, I don't know why I'm like holding it up to my face, but I guess I'm just like kind of trying it on for myself right now. So I'm very excited to try this again. It's so funny. Like literally it was like two days ago and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do that video. Well, cover effects blushes are not going to go in that video because now I will be able to try these out. So, wow, I feel like this is like a full face. I mean, you really could get a full face out of everything that I was saying. Oh, you'd be missing bronzer, but you put on enough blush and nobody will know you're not wearing bronzer, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I will definitely go through and do my own little tally of the value. I will pop up what I found right here. Again, this was just a fun little way to give myself a little gift. Uh, I have one product that I have tried and really love, and then I have a bunch of new products to try. I really do think, I mean, obviously I'm gonna be passing along the NARS palette, which is totally fine. Um, it's just a color story that I have a lot of, not that I don't have a lot of like mauve berry dusty tones, but I think I would really like to try this brand and I've tried the NARS formula before, so that will be fun. And one of you guys will get to get the Sony Kashuk brush in a future giveaway. I have to say, like, I know it's, it's so funny because it's like, obviously I could have gone and bought one of these, but the fact that this was the first thing that I opened, it was really fun. Of course, I'm excited to have a little YSL lippy in here. So this will be fun to try out. It looked very creamy and pretty. So I'm really excited. I'm definitely pleased. I think I will definitely get my value out of this. So for me to be able to just have like a fun little gift to open and some new products to try, I think that was worth it. I definitely had fun with this. I don't know that like these mystery boxes would be something I would like buy for myself every month that would get pretty spendy, but there is just something in that mystery and wondering what you're going to get. So I am a sucker for that. I could see doing it again. If you are interested in checking out all the details on these mystery boxes, I will make sure to have Amy's Poshmark listed below and let her know that I sent you if you do stop by. Um, there's certainly like no commission, no nothing. She doesn't, I didn't even mention that I have a YouTube channel when I bought the box. I did mention that I heard about her through Liz because I just wanted her to know that like, hey, Liz was talking about you. Like I came over here, you know, that's how we do it, right? So if you do decide to go over and get a box, oh, I would love to see what you get. So the best way to be able to do that is to follow me on Instagram at Keep Beauty Real and take a picture and tag me if you do get something. So thank you, Liz, so much for letting me know about this Poshmark mystery box. I'm very excited. I'm really pumped to get to try out a few of these things. I will let you guys know in the future. Again, let me know if you guys wanna see me do a full face of what was in this box, or if you just want me to like throw it into a review roundup in the future. So that's it for now, you guys. I'll see you really soon.